Human Rights Commission urges Gambia government to investigate all murder suspects and bring perpetrator to account. The National Human Rights Commission in its 2023 state of the human rights reports has urged the Gambia government to truly investigate all alleged murders and to bring perpetrators to account. According to the National Human Rights Commission, the 1997 Constitution of the Gambia provides for the protection of rights to life and set respect for the integrity of the persons require state to protect the rights to life and to respect the prohibition of torture and ill treatment. The Commissioner reminded the state of its duty to protect the rights of life and urged them to do so by punishing all perpetrators for the arbitrary killings committed. When an arbitrary killing has been committed within the jurisdiction of the state, the state has the duty to prosecute perpetrators and bring those responsible to justice. It revealed on 15 of May 2023, the dead body of a young 17-year-old girl was found in an incomplete house in Barra. Police investigations so far found out that the half-naked condition of the dead body suggests the disease may have been sexually assaulted and killed. Mm. At the time of reporting investigations were still ongoing. On 3rd August 2023, a tailor was stabbed in Latilkunda Sabege and it was alleged that the victim was stabbed during a heated altercation with a suspect and was pronounced dead on arrival at the Ndemban clinic. At the time of preparing this report, the information written the National Human Rights Commission was that the suspect was still at large, means the suspect was still not seen. In September, two police officers were fatally shot and another critically injured while on duty at, a, at the Sukuta Jabang traffic light roundabout, which is a BC intersection. The suspect identified as one Usain Boja was consequently apprehended and is currently being prosecuted for charges which include murder, attempt murder, and grievously bodily harm. His sister is also being tried for being an accessory after the fact of murder. The National Human Rights Commission reports. While condemning September incident, the commissioner ensured that security officially like civilians have fundamentally rights, including the rights to life, personal security and protection against violence, which it said should be upheld by all guarantee by the constitution on 4th October 2023, when K. Bandoy was stabbed and killed in Bandung, even though, according to the witness, the disease mentioned the name of the suspect before his death. Okay? Information written to Human Rights Commission is that the suspect remained at large. Several reports written to Human Rights Commission of other elite murder cases committed in the reporting, reporting years remain unsolved and perpetrators are still at large. The Commissioner reports. The Commissioner further reminds the government of its responsibility to hold perpetrators accountable for their actions, saying that the right to life should not be interpreted narrowly. The ECOWAS Court of Justice in June 2023 found that the Republic of the Gambia violated the right to life of Solindao. A business person who was abducted in 2023, the court found that the Gambian failed to investigate and prosecute those responsible in a timely manner. Consequently, the state is reminded of its responsibility to hold perpetrators to account because the right, of li the right to life is a right that should not be interpreted narrowly. The right to life concerning the entitlement of individuals to be free from acts an omission that in turn or may be expected to cause their unnatural or premature death. An important element of the protection afforded to the rights to life by the ICCPR is the obligation on state parties 
where they know or should have known or potentially unlawful deprivation of life to investigate and where appropriate prostitute perpetrators of such incident. The Human Rights Commission report. The commissioner therefore recommended the state to, to really investigate all alleged murders and bring perpetrators to accounts as well as provide the Gambian police force with the necessary resources, equipment and capacity to effectively investigate and handle murder cases and other arbitrary deprivation of life cases. Yes.